Hi there, kit fans. It's Louise with you today, and I am sharing another July Kidaholic Kits layout. And this one I have decided to be inspired by the rainbow paper. And I all I started this layout by picking my photos, and I had taken this photo of Master Zed reading his favourite book which is the Wonky Donkey, and then of course the sequel is the Dinky Donkey. If you haven't read them and you've got kids, make sure you get them because they are hilarious. And it is Master Zed's favourite book, and he just sits there and reads it over and over again. He loves it. So I really wanted to document in this case um, that uh, favourite of his. So I've actually taken the photo of him reading the book, and then I've got the photos of the actual books. I'm starting with a white cardstock background and I'm just having a little play around with the layout. You can see I've got that rainbow paper in the background and I'm sort of thinking, oh, what do I want to do here? I've got lots of words that I want to use, the cuteness, um, favourite. Um, so I decide that I'm going to um, get my watercolour palette out and I'm going to, I, I thought of initially about just making some dribbles of colour in the same colour as the paper. But I end up, I just start colouring with a paintbrush and some watercolour and build from there and see what happens. So I'm going to go through and just add coordinating colours from my watercolour palette. Now, this palette is not uh, fancy in any way. It's like I think it was a $12 Kmart palette, it might even be cheaper than that, but I find it very useful. I like the colors and, you know, it, it does what I need it to do. So you don't need to spend a lot of money um, to be able to to create um, and especially in this case it's quite an easy layout just adding a little bit of color and then some paper now i did um, do my colored underneath a little bit short because i then decided i was going to make a little fringe out of this pattern paper so off camera i'm going to go ahead and cut that fringe and then i have to go and re-add some color and you can see i can't remember what colors but i'm just winging it at this stage so nothing very technical really for me it's about the memory and getting that onto the layout so I really like how this looks I like sort of the way that the colored paper and the fringe um, meshes well with the uh, watercolor background and it gives that really rainbow feel so off camera I have stuck that down and added my journaling I've also um, you know uh, had a bit of a, a look at some of the elements and decided that I was going to put some um, hearts and matching colors in that watercolor area but apart from that I'm just going to pop the little uh, rainbow down in the bottom right hand corner and then this layout is complete so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and if you haven't already please